Even after the release of the Nintendo Switch OLED model, rumors of a new Nintendo console are spreading every day. At 6 years of age, it's not difficult to imagine that a new system is just on the horizon. This time around, there exists a few leaks that support the idea that a new console is coming soon. Of course, all these rumors should be taken lightly, as many gaming rumors prove to be false. Still, it's exciting to imagine what Nintendo's next console could look like. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video, where we discuss what features we want to see on the new Nintendo console. Rumors Several pieces of information point towards Nintendo's latest console releasing soon. The first piece of information comes from a job listing asking for an embedded system developer based out of Japan. The job listing details that a senior engineer would be supporting a famous game company in Kyoto to help with development of generation game consoles. Nintendo is the only Kyoto-based company with a record in console development, hinting that this ad is from Nintendo. The second piece of info regarding the new console originates on 4chan. The user claims to be a programmer at a Pokemon outsourcing company. The user claims that DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will launch alongside a new Switch model. The user also claims that this would be launching Winter 2023. This should be taken with a massive grain of salt as 4chan leaks are always flimsy at best. This user also mentions a graphics enhancement patch that will be implemented in the new Nintendo Switch models. The last piece of information on Nintendo's latest console is from a document from the Competition and Markets Authority. This document relates to the acquisition of Activision by Microsoft, and the document mentions Nintendo Switch Online. A line in the document mentions that Nintendo Switch Online is available on the Nintendo Switch device and redacted. This suggests a new console outside of the Switch Lite and OLED. With all of these leaks put together, it seems likely that we can expect a new Switch model within the next 12 months. The amount of leaks within close proximity of one another suggests that something is on the way. Nintendo's annual financial report president, Shuntaro Furukawa, confirmed that there are no plans to release any hardware during the next fiscal year. This means that a new console shouldn't emerge until after March 2024. Console Specs In terms of leaks, not much has been shared regarding the new console's specs. It seems that we can expect Nintendo to continue using a system on a chip from NVIDIA. Two Bloomberg reports claim that Nintendo has been looking into high-definition graphics and 4K resolution. The article also quotes a few game developers who claim that Nintendo had asked them to make their games 4K ready. These claims were further elaborated in Bloomberg's 2021 report that claims 11 game companies had received 4K Switch dev kits. Nintendo denied the report in a tweet that states, We have no plans for any new model other than Nintendo Switch OLED model. Additionally, Bloomberg also stated that a Japanese display maker Sharp is reportedly working on LCD displays for a new console. Given that Sharp made displays for the Switch, it's fair to assume that Sharp is also developing displays for the upcoming console. Yet, it's still possible that Sharp is creating screens for a handheld PC or other devices which they referred to as a games console. It's also an odd choice for Nintendo to go from OLED displays to LED displays on their new console. It's difficult to predict considering Nintendo's odd business decisions at times. The Switch OLED also contains evidence regarding future 4K support in the dock. A Twitter user, Kowlin Drom, noted that the OLED's dock contains a Realtek chip that's specced for 4K support. This is evidence that Nintendo really is preparing for 4K-capable hardware. 4K support in the new console may be powered through a new NVIDIA chip that could use the Deep Learning Super Sampling DLSS tech. This uses machine learning to output high resolution effectively. This tech would apply only to newer titles, of course, unless a patch releases for older games that would allow for 4K resolution. There's also evidence of a new NVIDIA chip from a leak in the NVIDIA code which mentions an API named NVN2. This is relevant as the Switch was named NVN. The code supports NVIDIA's Ampere GPU, which supports DLSS. 
Nintendo also seems to have plans for next-gen controller designs. Nintendo filled a Joy-Con-related patent in Japan. This patent looks to help resolve an issue where Joy-Cons begin to bend after long periods of playtime. The patent illustrates Joy-Cons that can bend and lock at a curved angle. It looks awkward, like it might feel uncomfortable to hold, but it's possible these designs will be polished further. If you're enjoying the discussion so far, be sure to like and subscribe to keep seeing more Nintendo content. Features we want on the next console The leaks are definitely promising, but there's still a lot of room regarding the new console's other features. Here, we've lined up a few features that we would personally like to see on Nintendo's new system. Backwards Compatibility Backwards compatibility would be an amazing feature for the new console. The PS5 and Xbox Series X both have backwards compatibility, so it would feel strange for the new Nintendo console to not continue the trend, especially since consoles like the Wii and Wii U are backwards compatible. It would also be nice if the backwards compatibility extended to Joy-Cons as well. This was, again, done with the Wii U as games required Wii remotes for those not using the gamepad. New Interface One of the things missing from the Nintendo Switch is the ability to customize your home menu with various themes. This was especially upsetting considering the dozens of options available in consoles like the 3DS. Upon startup, the Switch's UI feels so boring and plain. There was hope that new themes would eventually be purchasable after some time. However, that hope has died out. Currently, the only themes for Switch menus are light or dark. It would be a welcome return for fun and wacky themes to make a return. Higher Resolution Display The Nintendo Switch currently has a 720p display that can output to 1080p HD when connected to a TV. There are plenty of 4K smartphones, so it seems like a higher resolution is an obvious step for a new console. It would also be nice to see patches added to older games, allowing for them to run at 4K and 60fps. Being able to play through Tears of the Kingdom with a smooth frame rate would be perfect. Improved Battery Life If the next console is planning to run bigger games, a better battery life is a necessity. The current battery life sits at 3 to 4 hours, which isn't too bad. But an upgrade could do well for the system, especially since power banks and accessories to help extend the battery life are often bulky and don't connect to the console directly. It would also be nice to see some fast charging technology implemented, since trying to recharge a dead switch to be playable again can take a long time. Additional Storage for any Switch owner planning to own more than just a few games, a micro SD card is a must. A basic Switch model comes with 32 gigabytes, while the OLED has 64 gigabytes, which can be expanded with an SD card. This new console doesn't need as much as one terabyte of storage, but a boost to 128 gigabytes would be great to see. Since newer games are getting bigger and more complex, this often means a larger file size. The increase in base storage would allow for more than just two or three games being downloaded before being forced to go out and grab an SD card. Better Online Play Out of PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo, Nintendo has always lagged behind in the online play department. Having to pay for online is baffling considering how much lag and bugginess occur while trying online play. Even trying to use the eShop is a hassle as it lags and hiccups while trying to scroll. The voice chat system is also pretty awkward. Having to download an app to use voice chat is an odd choice. It's also strange that there's no dedicated home menus for inviting your friends to play games. This new console should also have an Ethernet port. Given that the OLED has an Ethernet port, it doesn't seem likely that this feature will be retired. All in all, there's a lot of room for improvement for playing online. Joy-Con Improvements The Joy-Cons are great so far. However, the Joy-Con Drift is killer. Simply fixing Joy-Con Drift would make these controllers near perfect. Joy-Cons could also benefit from having a design more fitting to hold in your hands. 
Giving the Joy-Con some kind of grip texture or change in shape could go a long way in making these controllers feel more comfortable. It would be great to see some changes for single Joy-Con usage, but with how small these controllers are, only so much can be done. That wraps up rumors for the next Nintendo console and our console wish list. What would you like to see more on the new console? Better online play or higher resolution? Please let us know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content.